Hello guys, you're welcome back to my channel. A lawyer and senior member in Democratic Party is in police custody for alleged murder. Francesca Amoni, a former national secretary for Democratic Party Women's League, handed herself in to the police after she reportedly stabbed her husband, Dr. Joseph Etuk, to death. Amoni, who is 34 years old, also served as a counselor, reportedly developed a domestic misunderstanding with her husband on Friday night, which led to a fight. She reportedly picked a knife and stabbed her husband. The disease was a medical doctor, while the suspect is a lawyer, politician, and a human rights activist. It has been stressed so interesting. It was learned that the incident occurred at the, at the couple's home. The police spokesperson says in a statement on Saturday afternoon that the suspect handed herself to the police and is currently being held at the police station. A case of murder by stabbing has been preferred against her. The police spokesperson explained that preliminary investigation gathered by the police indicates that on Friday night at around 11 p.m., the couple developed a misunderstanding. In the scuffle that followed, Amoni picked a knife and stabbed her husband. He added that Etuk died as the husband died while being rushed to regional hospital. The spokesperson also said a team of homicide detectives visited the scene and recovered the knife. Now, listen to this. Again, in 2019, the Gulu High Court convicted that same woman on two counts of aggravated torture of her two housemates. She was accused of burning her two house helps, aged 13 and 17, respectively, with a hot flat iron. Who does that? So you can imagine the kind of person this woman is. Now, recently, the woman put to bed, and his husband shared it on Facebook. Even before that, the husband had already shared a lovely post about the wife on Facebook saying, this is what the husband said on Facebook, in this life, I couldn't ask for more. You have been there for me through thick and thin. When I was sick, you slept in the hospital without a second thought. Through my weakness, you stood by me and now you carry my only son. May God bless you and grant you everything you ever wanted in this life. I will love you to my dying days, Atuku. Let me say that again. He said, I will love you to my dying days. And I said, friends, help me celebrate this hero. He called her a hero. She is my mother bear. Happy Heroes Day, wifey. Wow, this is indeed a sad story. What could lead this woman to pick up a knife, to make her to have the mind to pick up a knife and stab your husband who loves you so much? In this life, they say life, no balance, so I don't know what went into her. Anyway, thank you so much for listening. And don't forget to like this video and also drop your thoughts at the comment section. Importantly, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much.